。二零二一年第二条题目系有关于神经系统嘅，下面呢幅图啦就显示咗两个双轮嘅神经元啦。当神经脉冲去到构造 set 嘅时候咧，喺位置一嘅神经递质 W 嘅份量咧就会增加啦。咁你睇返呢幅圖啦，我哋又有呢個 terminal X、Y 啊，有 Z 啊，有 W 啊，咁當然啦，有返一個好嘅習慣啊嘛，係咪？咁嗱，咁 W 呢俾咗你㗎啦，就係、是、神經遞質啦。咁啊 ，X、Y 呢，其實都係講緊神經元嘅末端啦，係咪？都係有，亦即係起碼係神經纖維嘅部分啦，係咪？就只係爭在佢 a s h o n 族特啊，定係 d e n d r o n 樹特啦。咁啊，構造 set 就更加簡單啦，就係、是、兩個神經元之間嘅呢個 gap 位，正正就係 part A 問你嘅嘢啦。其實就係我哋嘅 synapse 特足啦。咁啊，解決咗好咯，非常之直接了當嘅題目啦。我哋直接落 B 咯。B 一 part 呢就講啦，喺位置一嘅神經遞質 W 係從構造 set 嘅其中一個末端，一係就 X， 一係就 Y 呢，去釋放出嚟嘅。啊，咁究竟啦，係邊一個末端去釋放神經遞質 W 嘅呢？咁其實 Part B one 要考我哋呢，就係有關於唔同神經元嘅特質啦。咁我哋望下呢兩個神經元啦，其實啦，佢都點睇都唔似一個 interneuron 嘅，因為啦，佢真係有兩左右兩邊呢嘅腳係有長短㗎嘛，係咪啊？所以我哋要分別嘅呢，佢一係就係 sensory neuron 感應神經元。一系就系 motor neuron 运动神经元啊，咁究竟点样分法呢？咁上堂都教过大家噶啦。咁我哋要分别一个神经元呢，我哋有几个条件嘅。第一，睇下呢个神经細胞嘅細胞体嘅形状啦 ，cell body 系咩样噶？望下呢两个样啦，点睇都唔似椭圆形噶啦。咁啊，近似系一个星星，好似一个散射嘅，有几条苏苏呢，系散开咗出去嘅。所以佢係星星形狀啦，咁所以啦，我哋都判別得到佢應該係一個運動神經元，唔淨止佢噶，其實後面呢個都係噶。咁當我知道咗啦，哦，佢應該似係運動神經元之後，我哋就再去睇翻咯。運動神經元有咩定義呢？原來佢係一個長嘅軸突 action， 同埋一個短嘅樹突 d e n d r o n 咁所以望翻呢個樣啦，長嘅呢個神經纖維就梗係軸突啦。短啲嘅神經纖維就係樹突啦，所以啦個神經脈衝嘅傳遞方向就係由右邊傳去左邊，就係、是、由呢個運動神經元博去另一個運動神經元咯。所以答案呢，就係 X 放出神經遞質啦。咁呢一條題目呢，大家最糾結嘅呢就係嚇乜？原來運動神經元係可以博住另一個運動神經元㗎？係㗎，係可以㗎。雖然書本係冇教。因为书本系俾一个简单嘅概念俾我哋知一道，哦，原来咧运动神经元咧，佢搏住嘅就应该系个反应器，例如系个肌肉。之但系呢，原来喺我哋个脑咧，去伸延出嚟嘅运动神经元，其实都可以搏住另一个运动神经元嘅。所以啦，透过呢个题目，我想话俾大家听嘅就系、是，虽然我哋会见到一啲好陌生嘅情景，但系利用翻基础知识够做噶啦，已经根据翻細胞体嘅形状啦。逐特殊特嘅长度，呢呢个系学翻嚟噶嘛，基本功嚟噶嘛，然后啦就判别翻神经脉冲嘅传递方向。咁下次反转嚟问你咯，俾咗个神经細胞你噶啦，然后我话俾你听，佢嗰个神经脉冲嘅传递方向，然后再问翻你边个系 action 逐特，边个系 dendron 殊特，我都可以照样问你噶。褪多一步，下次俾个 sensory neuron 感觉神经原理。喂，佢博住啲乜嘢噶？啊，佢应该博住个感应器嘅。啊，又或者啦，唔系，我佢都系照样俾翻两个神经元你啫。咁感觉神经元可唔可以楞住另一个感觉神经元呢？其实都可以嘅。咁你用咩去理解啊？用翻基本功去理解就得噶啦。基本功冇得妥协噶。然后到第二 part 啦，就系一个好直接嘅问题啦。描述下喺位置一嘅神经递质 W。系点样导致到神经脉冲喺构造 set 咧，系得以传递嘅？咁呢个题目咧就系考翻我哋透过一个突足点样去传递神经脉冲啦。咁其实我哋过往咧都有题目考过啦，就系二零一五年嘅题目啦。咁啊，当中啦有啲咩嘅概念大家要留意翻咧？喺位置一嘅神经递质 W 咧就能够扩散去到末端 Y 嘅膜，即系个细胞膜啦。而神经递质 W 咧就会刺激到末端 Y 嘅细胞膜，或者同末端 Y 嘅细胞膜上面嘅受体咧。做个结合，从而产生一个神经脉冲嘅。跟住啦，就去到 Part C 咯。咁喺 Part B 所描述嘅过程啦，对神经脉冲嘅传递有咩重要性呢？咁呢条题目啦，自不然就系考翻我哋有关于突足嘅重要性啦。咁突足嘅重要性其实就有两个嘅。一个咧就系、是、确保到神经脉冲系向住单一方向去传递。
第二个呢，就係容许到一个神经元係同其他嘅神经元呢去做个溝通嘅。咁今次我係咪其中答一個就得啦？兩常唔係啊，因為題目係講到明，係喺 Part B 所提及嘅過程，而喺 Part B 所提及嘅過程呢，係講緊個神經遞質 W 呢，係要經由末端 Y 所去釋放出嚟，從而去刺激返喺末端 Y 上面嘅受體嘅。所以今次嘅答案呢，只有一個啦，就係、是、確保神經傳遞呢，只係沿住一個方向去傳送啦。好，跟住啦，就去到一點出發咯。今次嘅題目呢，就突足呢，就去開始嘅，當中啦就可以考返我哋有關於感覺神經元啦，同埋運動神經元啦。而佢哋各自啦，愣住呢，就係感受器同埋反應器啦。咁呢個基本概念呢，大家一定要識㗎啦。跟住啦，就係運動神經元搏住反應器呢，其實中間都唔係直接連接住㗎嘛，中間呢，都係有 gap 位。咁呢個 gap 位呢，我哋就唔叫 synapse， 就叫做神經肌肉接點 （neuromuscular junction） 啦。然後題目考我哋嘅就係神。经递质喺呢个突触入面嘅功能啦，究竟当中啦点样喺神经元之间传递到神经脉冲咧？个机制系如何呢？今次呢条题目咧特别要考我哋嘅就系有关于喺个末端 Y 啊，佢个細胞膜上面咧都有啲受体，而呢啲受体咧其实系啲蛋白嚟嘅，就系、是、考翻我哋有关于膜蛋白嘅概念啦。呢条题目啦有啲咩嘅变奏呢？佢都可以问翻我哋有关于啦一个神经元有啲咩嘅组成部分呢？又或者啦要我哋分得清翻三款类型嘅神经元啦。咁其实过往咧都有好多题目咧去考我哋。有关于神经元嘅构造啦，同埋神经脉冲点样传递嘅。二零一二年嘅呢条 M C 咧，你又试下答唔答得啱？又睇翻呢段片温一温书咯。Two two one question two is about nervous system. This diagram shows two adjacent neurons. When the nerve impulse arrived at structure set, the amount of the neurotransmitter W at location one increases. You can see from this diagram terminal A. Y and then structure set, so you can see that we have the good practice for the labeling. And for part A, and for part A, it really asks you to name the structure set. So we need to identify the junction in between the two neurons, which is the synapse. And then for part B one, neurotransmitter W at location one is released from one of the terminals of structure sets. Which terminal? X or Y release a neurotransmitter W. The terminal X or Y, they are either axon terminal or the dendron. Therefore, we need to clarify the direction of the nerve impulse transmission. So for part B1, the concept checking is about the features of the different neurons. So you can see that based on the appearance of these two neurons, we can ensure that they are not the interneuron. They should be either sensory neuron. Or motor neuron. So which neuron should they be? So let's do the revision about the criteria of determining the type of neurons. So I teach you before we can use the shape of the cell bodies, the length of the axon and dendron, and the direction of the transmission of nerve impulse to determine which type of neuron are they. So first of all, we use the cell body shape. So you can see that for these two neurons. Their cell body, they are not oval shape. They should be the star-like shape because I can see some nerve fiber. They are diverging outside, right? So they are the motor neuron. Not just this, but also this neuron. They are also the motor neuron. And then according to the concept for the motor neuron, the length of the axon and the dendron, we can see that motor neurons have a very short dendrons and a long axon. So you can determine the direction of the transmission of nerve impulse. It should be from the neuron on the right hand side to the neuron on the left hand side. So you can see that the neurotransmitter should be released from the terminal X to diffuse to the terminal Y. So in this question, the most tricky point is that for these two neurons, oh, Mr. Lam, both of them they are motor neuron. But how can one motor neuron connect to another motor neuron? I never learned it in the textbook. I just learned it for the motor neuron. It should be connected to the effector, or for the sensory neuron, it should be connected to the receptor. But I never learned that motor neuron connected to the motor neuron. So from this question, I want to tell you that first of all, surely motor neuron can can be connected to the motor neuron. It's true. Second point, even you are facing this unfamiliar case by using the basic idea, shape of the cell bodies, the length of the axon and dendron, 
and the direction of the nerve impulse transmission, you can tackle this diagram easily. So don't be afraid of this question. Maybe next time I give you a certain neuron, and then I tell you the direction of the transmission of nerve impulse, and tell me which part is action, which part is dendron, or what should be the shape of the of this unknown neuron. Or well, next time it can put two sensory neurons together. Is also correct because in our body, sensory neuron could be connected to the receptor, so could be connected to another sensory neuron. And then for part two, describe how the neurotransmitter W at location one can bring about the transmission of the nerve impulse. As structure said, this question is very straightforward. It asks us to recall the nerve impulse transmission across the synapse, just like the 2015 question. We need to talk about the neurotransmitter W at location one diffuses to the membrane of the terminal Y, and then the neurotransmitter W stimulates the membrane at terminal Y or binds to the receptor on the membrane of the terminal Y to initiate the nerve impulse. And then for part C, what is the significance of the process in part B to transmission of the nerve impulse? So we need to recall the importance of the synapse, and actually there are two importance of the synapse to ensure the nerve impulse travel in one direction only, and the synapse also allows a neuron to communicate with many other neurons. However, we can only pick up one of them as the answer. Because for the process in part B, because the process in part B, it says that the neurotransmitter W is released by the terminal X, but not by Y. Therefore, this ensures the neurotransmission takes place in one direction only. Then let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the synapse, and then it checks you the concept about the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. And for the sensory neuron, motor neuron, we need to know that what are they connected to? Receptor and the effector. And for the motor neuron connected to the effector, there is also a gap between them. Because the motor neurons and the effector, they are not connected directly. And this gap, we do not call it synapse, we call it neuromuscular junction. And then the question checks us the mechanism of the transmission of the neurotransmitter, particularly for the membrane protein on the terminal Y to receive the neurotransmitter. Therefore, it also checks you the concept of the cell membrane. Any possible question variation, for example, what does a neuron consist of? Distinguish all three types of neurons. The location of the cell body, the length of the action and dendron, and then the shape of the cell body, a lot, a lot. And then in the past, there are a lot of questions talking about the nervous system or the neuron or even the membrane protein, just like the 2012 MC question. So watch all the video for the revision.